So Aiden Propaganda, it's your first exhibition here in Prague. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Yeah, that's right. It's been uh, almost eight years now since my last exhibition. Uh, a lot of the problems I had back then uh, don't seem to be so prevalent here in Prague. And one of the best things about this exhibition is it's literally just over this bridge from my house. Yeah, this is uh, one of the biggest pictures I'm showing at the exhibition. This is uh, the front cover for a magazine uh, called uh, Curator, uh, which is coming out of Kiev. Um, yeah, I'm basically doing a couple of art-related covers for them, and this is one I blew up especially for the exhibition. It's a good example of the uh, uh, propaganda uh, aesthetic. Lots of bright colours, great angles, uh, not too gothic. This is the uh, uh, KMFDM sleeve for the latest album cover I did. Um, depicting Sasha, the lead singer, uh, being cascaded by holy power over the heads of his fans. Uh, this is uh, uh, kind of a different slight colours to the CD cover I did, but uh, I still think it's going to look pretty dynamic. Uh, yeah, this uh, illustration I did for our Zizhkov uh, Film Club film poster when we showed uh, This Is England. Uh, one of my favourite films in that year. Uh, really great imagery, uh, conjured up a lot of the stuff I went through when I was uh, a teenager in the 70s. So I thought I'd give it a bit of homage by uh, making this poster for it. One of my faves this. Yeah, another poster from the ZFK uh, film catalogue. Um, Welcome to the Don McCall, very, very gentle film. So instead of my usual bombastic approach, I thought I'd uh, do something a little bit more gentle for this. Uh, it's a nice image. Uh, also another great uh, test for me uh, using Illustrator. I, uh, I actually can't pronounce the, uh, the name of the KMFDM album that this uh, sleeve is from. But this is uh, radically altered to the sleeve that KMFDM used for the eventual cover, which had a flash behind it. I've included for the exhibition uh, the original industrial uh, background. Uh, I made some other additions as well that I wasn't able to do when the uh, uh, original CD cover was produced. But uh, I like it like this, uh, and I, I think that the minimalistic colours it's propaganda, but it's still pertaining to the old sort of gothic action look. But it's more, uh, as I say, it's more lively and dynamic. It's not so violent. It's more, uh, you know, propaganda. Uh, there's a bit of a story about behind this. Uh, years ago, I wanted to make a, a movie, and I knew I didn't have the money. So what I did was I designed the poster. And it was an updating of um, Thelma and Louise to two uh, um, half-breed Las Vegas junkie uh, strippers who go on like a, a, a Tarantino gun and drug rampage. And I uh, didn't have the money to make it, so I thought, fuck it, I'll just do the poster anyway. Well, I lost the original of the poster, so I redid it in Illustrator, and it took me about like... 15 days to do this, you know. I've got like even the sweat on their bodies, managed to crush their breasts together, and you know, it's, you know, I, I, I put lots and lots of stuff in it, and then I took lots of stuff out of it, you know, it's like one of the most, you know, and I hate to work in gradients, you know, I think the gradients are gay and they're, they, they're cheating, you know. But once you actually get into the whole idea of light sources, and you know, you know, for example, you know, is this a light source? You know, these are two light sources where the, 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 the glow is coming on their thighs and their shoes and, and this. It's like, it's a nightmare, but it's like, it's a, it's a real journey in Illustrator that you would never be able to do as a painter. You know, I, I defy anybody to have as much fun painting something like this <laughs> than you would do in Illustrator, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of this. There's still certain things I would like to change, but I'm still, 
you know, well happy for my first excursion into uh, you know non-brute style. You know. Okay. There's a good story for this one. Uh, years ago, I used to work for. Uh, it's called the Lovers, by the way. Uh, years ago, I used to work for uh, a magazine, and their deadlines were literally kind of 40 hours. And so we constantly had to kept come up with new, more and more and more imagery very, very quickly. And this one night, uh, all I had to work from was a book of old uh, movie pictures. And it was a man holding a woman's face, just about to kiss her. So what I did was, I blew the guy's head up three times the size. I made his hand grab her by the throat and I added these two cigarettes and then just the background and the rest of it was just tracing but you know for me anyway it's you know it's a very very old image but I wanted to include it because it just has that element of cheeky uh, non politically correct uh, sexuality you know they're smoking he's grabbing her she looks a bit scared there's so many elements of danger and at the background you have these uh, these oil rigs, which indicate this kind of Dallas-type romance, you know, where, you know, e you know even lo being in love is a dangerous occupation. I, I love it. It's like, a, it's like the cover of one of these uh, Ludlum paperbacks, you know, or uh, Harold Robbins or something like that. It's a Harold Robbins picture. It's a homage, I suppose, to those sort of books, you know, where, you know, overheated epic romances amongst very, very rich... Uh, dirty people, you know, so that's, that's it. here tonight for everybody is an exhibition of uh, some of the work I've been doing for clients over the last three or four years. Uh, KMFDM, various art magazines. Thank you, Danny. Um, and what I'm trying to do this, uh, this year is try and move away from some of the darker uh, material that I've been uh, known for in the past, move on to a more colourful uh, propaganda style, which is a mixture of uh, uh, pop art with all its uh, bright, dynamic advertising style and the propaganda art, which uh, probably a lot of people here uh, remember. Um, I've tried to put this into as many merchandising ways as I can to get it across to as many people as possible by doing skateboards, t-shirts, CD covers. The whole idea is to make propaganda as accessible as possible to everybody. So I've kept all the prices down for these really great posters. They're all on canvas, but they're affordable for everybody because the new media is about the reproduction and not the original. And propaganda is all about just pumping that stuff up and getting these images on as many walls as possible. Uh, I'm really glad, all right Gary, uh, really glad that you all showed up tonight. Uh, hopefully this won't be the last exhibition I have here. Uh, and. Maybe you'll come to the next one, yeah? Thanks very much. Yeah.